What I'm interested in is Maori horticulture, or more specifically the adaptation of Maori horticulture to New Zealand from Polynesia. Because you've got to understand that we're dealing with a tropical horticultural system that's developed in the tropics, uses tropical plants, and then it's brought to New Zealand and into a completely different environment where people have to find a whole new way of uh, growing these plants and using them for subsistence. More specifically, what I'm interested in is the area of the Waikato, because the Waikato is inland. It's a different kind of environment. It's not like the coast where it's you know, relatively frost free. And also in the Waikato, we have these really quite distinct archeological sites related to the horticulture. It's really intriguing to sort of think about how much of a change it is from bringing, growing these crops on really small island environments and bringing it to New Zealand. And one of the techniques that they seem to have used, and it's mostly, you see it mostly in the Waikato, but you, you do see it in a few other places in New Zealand, is this, is this whole technique of using the adding sand and gravel of various sorts to the soil. And we really don't understand very much about it. What we do know, obviously, is, is the amount of labour that went into it. As we do more work, it just gets more and more complicated. <laughs> and we start to find out more and more. Um, there are more and more unusual things that pop up. And you go, oh, what does this mean? And it, and it takes you some time. You know, maybe two or three investigations on different sites. And eventually, you'll find enough information you can start to piece it together. And it gives you an idea or a direction where you can start to look.